Mark, what can I say? Disappointing. I mean, where can we start? I mean, first half was a bit sort of even, Stephen. Second half will come out, came straight at them. Got our goal through Kiwi with a fantastic finish, and then they concede at the end. I'm sure you're. I was, I was looking down at you in the bench there, and you were sort of like rubbing your face, scratching your head, going, "What's going on here?" I mean, the, the positive is we came away from the point, and obviously we can take positives in the game today. Um, absolutely got it, mate. Because first half it was what it was going to be. It was a derby. It was intense. It was physical. You know, there wasn't much football by either team. It was it was a scrap really. Yep. But when we got them in at half time, we said to them, lads, we have played Dundella at their game now which was they were going to scrap, they were going to throw the ball forward quickly, just say, now it's time to play our game in the second half, which yep. is get the ball down and play football. If you look at the second half, we should have had them dead and buried. Chances we have were unbelievable. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's the Especially sad thing. after the goal. I mean, three chances, we counted three chances right in the first five minutes of the second half. Yeah, we're in two minutes in with three chances to score. Mm. Um, with our chances there in the second half, we, we should have just had the, the game dead and buried. We've been scoring lots of goals, and that's mm. the first day that, that we didn't do it. But do you know what? As I asked them to go out and play football second half. Mm. I said to them, go out and do a bit more what you're good at. And they did. Mm. Like, there should have been only one winner in that game. Yeah. You know, as I say, the first half was even Stephen. I'll give Dundell that. But the second half, it was all welders. Yeah. You know? Uh, I mean, they did play second half completely better than the first half. Again, it's touched on in the first half, pretty even. You took me quite Kyle McGuigan off there in the first half of an injury. How is he doing? Is he all right? Or is he, this, is it called, he, just a precaution? He's sore in there, so we'll get it looked at by Johnny on Tuesday night. And Kyle's been instrumental for us, you know. Mm. Um, he's had a great. He's had a great season so far, but you know what? We we'll come away here undefeated still. You know, um, the boys with a good group of boys are they're flying, and we we'll have to just march on from this. You know, yeah. we we'll have to just take take the positive that we are still undefeated. Um, the sad thing is the chances we missed. Mm. I mean, you had uh, Craig Harris down from the first team today. He's come back from injury. How do you think he fit in with the boys today? I mean, he was talking to the boys more. He was encouraging boys more. I thought he'd done quite a good uh, performance to help the boys as well. We've been very, very lucky um, in the sense that we don't get many down. But when we do get them down, they come down with a tremendous attitude. They don't come down with a, I'm a first teamer, I shouldn't be here. As you've seen with Craig Harris there, he was absolutely magnificent. Yep. He went, he competed for every ball, he won every ball, he was composed. Um, he was what Craig Harris does, box, you know, he was it. Just putting his foot in the everhang, and he, he lets he wins balls that you can play off. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, first team manager was obviously here. I'm sure he's seen you know Craig give him something to think about because Craig was tremendous. Yeah, now let's talk about our goal, KB. What a finish! <sighs> I mean, this wee boy just sort of pops up with all these fantastic finishes. I mean, again, one each draw, but I mean, I'm sure you're happy with his performance as well because he was again down that line up and down, and he got his goal that he, he earned and obviously he did deserve today. <laughs> Do you know what? You're not going to believe this, but I actually thought Kiwi had a really quiet game with day. Really? Honestly, okay. we're used to Kiwi being such a real live wire and going by people and, mm. and we actually turned around and just before he scored and we said he's quiet and the next minute KV does what he just done like yeah. he pops up with a screamer and that's you what know he what does I mean? ah, he, listen he, he's one of those wee lads he's been up with the first team um, he, he, he done that against Linfield mm-hmm. and against the best the best team in the country yep. you know he, he, he went on and he, he tormented people and, and that's what he does and he's a great kid he's very infectious always buzzy always happy you know so KV as I say, you know what you're getting with him, he's a great lad. And finally, before I let you go today, I mean, we've had a new management change over the top. How is your relationship going with obviously the 21s now compared with the first team? How is your relationship with the new manager? Since he's only been here, what, two, three weeks now? Yeah. Well, do you know what? Um, the new manager's been been very good. Like, I, I, I've been very lucky that um, before him, I was obviously helping Goose. Yep. So Goose was in regular contact about the 21s and stuff and and he was always you know bringing him up to training and, and in fairness Paul's brought you know he, he's done the same he's had three or four up we've played them every Thursday night you know he, he wants reports on the boys so he has taken a big interest mm-hmm. and obviously now the lads have to push on and reward that interest that he's shown in them by getting in there and, and putting performances in obviously a positive for the young lads who are trying to push for that side knowing the fact that now there's more interest in the 21s obviously with the performances every week it puts their game up too yeah well, the fact that he, he, he he's wanting you know details on them he's wanting stats he's wanting information you know um the fact that he wants all that it shows a, a big interest so um as i say we were very lucky and i know robert was only a few games in but he was also doing that and Dorney and Smicker, you know, beforehand, you know, 
the, listen, it's just got bigger and bigger and better and better, the relationship, you know, because the boys are pushing. They've got a year over them. You know, maybe Gary at the sort of was more, you know, cautious simply because they're a new team and he didn't want to put pressure on them. Then Goose obviously took it to another level by bringing more of them in. And then, as I say, Paul so far has has wanted a lot more information on them. He was here the day, you know, um, he has told me, you know, that they are and you know part of his future. So the lads just have to go and and take their chances, yeah, when he, he gets it. But as I say, I'm just disappointed me because we were definitely the second half we were a far better team. Like.